My name is uh, Devin Lucky Napope. I'm a survivor of poverty, dysfunction, addictions, and a street lifestyle. My life is the effects of residential school. My environment, a lot of addictions spread throughout my family, all the way from mother, grandmother, aunties, uncles. So it seemed I was destined to become a drug addict, an alcoholic, and that my life would just turn to prison and gangs and back into the street with no hope. My criminal activity started when our, our young uncle used us as bait to steal us food in a grocery store. So it started with uh, materialistic items, food, candy, clothing, basically everything we're deprived of. And this was at a young age, eight, nine years old. Everyday thing, go steal a bike, you know, take what you didn't have. My incarceration started one month after I was legally old enough to be locked up, which was 12 years old. Me and my brother just wanted shoes, shorts, the little things we're deprived of. It progressed to robberies, violence, break and enters, drugs and alcohol. That's a never ending snowball down the hill. For the next six years, I spent more than four years in youth jails. took my feelings away, how to not cry, to not feel, and to not show my emotions. So I held everything in. I didn't deal with anything in my past, any abuse, any dysfunctions. I didn't talk about anything. As time went by, I kept going in. I kept coming out. I kept going in. It was insanity. I kept coming out the same as I went in. You know, everything was kind of put on pause once I stepped in. So that's what really what a jail is. The system right now is designed to just punish people, throw people in prison, harsher prison sentences, whether it's for youth, adults. That has a huge ripple effect. That's just gonna, that doesn't do anything. As there's no healing, there's no treatment. If there was a way to help me see the impact I cause, that also helped me be aware of my own struggle because I was blind to my own battle. I see the system designed to bring you back. I designed to, for a division amongst Aboriginal people and culture. That environment which creates gangs, which creates more friendships within the dysfunctional lifestyle. If straight up wasn't there for me, I'd definitely be back in prison. When they joined Straight Up, we asked for four years of their life because we know it'll take a long time for them to, to reverse the, the tragedies of the past. They need to get out of the gang. That's not ne negotiable. They have to deal with their addiction because if they don't conquer that, that sickness, um, there will be no success. Straight Up was there when nobody else was. They led me towards that beacon of light. You know, they created opportunities. They put me on a path. When I tell my story, there's a thousand voices behind mine, because it's not only me going through this, it's the whole community I grew up in. <laughs>